iconic Star Wars uh, vehicles. Our first episode is on the mini Lego Venator and Assault Ship. This original video, which is already on our channel, we're going to keep that one up, has gotten over 1,250 views, and that's just insane right now. So, that's unbelievable. So, we're going to start off a new series because we know that that was super successful. So, we're starting off this new series. Uh, it's a mini-series where we just build, like I said, iconic Star Wars ships and vehicles. Let's get into it. Let's go. We will first be focusing on the Venator vehicle. So let's get into that. Let's take it apart. Now let's show you how to build it. So guys, here are the pieces you need to build the mini Lego Venator. You need two light bluish gray angled plates that are 3 by 8 you also need either two 1 by one dark bluish gray bricks or one 1 by 2 dark bluish gray bricks. You also need either four 2 by 2 dark red tiles or a configuration of 1 by 2 dark red tiles or 1 by 8 dark red tiles. You also need one 2 by Eight light bluish gray plate. You need one two by four light bluish gray slope. That's probably going to be the hardest piece to get in this entire thing. That's how simple this build is. You also need one two by two dark bluish gray plate and one two by two light bluish gray plate, as well as one sort of like double angle plate thing. I don't know what it's called, but it is six studs by three studs and it has two sides that are angled. You're also going to need two lightsaber hilts in light bluish gray and then two clips in dark bluish gray, as well as one light bluish gray modified plate which has got two studs on the top and then four studs on the side. Lastly, you need four uh, trans light blue studs, two light bluish gray studs, and two light bluish gray cylinders. Now let's get into building this thing. To start off this build, we will create the engines first and then work our way forward. So as I have already done, you need to place your trans light blue studs on top of your light bluish gray cylinders and then take your modified uh, uh, plate here and then stick the two large one by one cylinders in the middle like so and then the two stud configurations on the side. Next you will take this angled plate and put it on like so. After that, you will need your one by two or two by two light bluish gray plate and snap it on just like that. So we'll start off with that. Then you will need your either two one by one dark bluish gray or your one two by two or one by two dark bluish gray, and you'll place it on like so. Afterwards, you will take the slope that you have and put it on top of the 2x2 two two light bluish gray plate. And this is what you should end up with so far. Then you take your 2x2 two two, or dark bluish gray plate and just put it on the, those two studs. And then put together your lightsaber hilt onto the stud holder. I mean, the. Uh, clip 
and then place that in the back as well as place the other one in the back and then push those forward as far as you can. And now you have the main command bridge. To make the rest of the model, you'll need to turn this upside down. Actually, we'll do that later. <laughs> uh, you will take the two angled plates and then place your two by two tiles just together until it reaches the back. And so that's what that's why I said you can use a one by twos or one by eights or however you want to just you just have to get a, a dark red streak across the middle. You can do that however you want. After that, you're going to place these two pieces together like so, and then flip it over because you need to attach them with the plate. And you will take your two by eight plate. And place it on the bottom of the whole piece I guess with two with four studs showing and then you will attach those four studs to the middle of the angled dark blue gray plate now that is should be your final venator and so we'll go with it right here you can customize these your own, like make it different so you don't see that uh, dark red, but I like it this way. It's pretty cool. So yeah, now let's get on to building the assault ship. As you can see, the assault ship is a simpler model with only seven pieces. And it is smaller than the Venator, obviously. And that is actually realistic. It it does appear like this in the uh, cartoons and movies if you spot it. So, let's get into the build. These are the pieces you need to build the mini Lego assault ship. You need two 1x3 angled plates, two 2x2 two two dark red tiles, one 2x2 two two dark bluish gray slope, one dark bluish gray minifig binoculars and one dark bluish gray one by two with the jumper in the middle now let's get into the build the build for the assault ship is very very simple what you're going to do is take your two two by two dark red tiles and place them on the edge of one of them and then connect that to the other one by three uh, angle plate. So it should look like this. Next, you're going to take your binoculars, find the hole with the stud where you can put the stud in and place that onto your jumpers or onto your jumper. Then you take that uh, assortment and put it onto your two by two slope. Now to finish it up, you'll place that where the two extra studs are. That is a very, very simple build, and I really do like this one a lot because you can build them in mass quantities for a little amount. At one point, I had probably 12 of those and 6 Venators, and I would just play around with them for so long. It was so fun, but then I need the parts for uh, mocks because it's not really mocks, and that's where we are now. So, let's conclude this video with my thoughts on this. So guys, that is how you build the Lego Mini Venator and Assault Ship. I hope you liked it. Um, they're very simple bit builds. I bet you have the pieces just lying right next to you. They're, they're basically like the most common pieces you would have. Um, so yeah, uh, put in the comment section below whether you like this mini series. And if you do, also put what you think our next video should be on, like making, what should we make? Um, I think I already have a few ideas in store, but I'm not completely sure, uh, we'll figure that out. As you guys know, these, uh, mini videos are on two, or on Thursdays, uh, weekly updates are on the weekends, and hauls are on Tuesdays. So yeah, stay tuned for more, please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
follow us on Instagram at Super Mario Studios. And, uh, yeah. Peace.